Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sam and this video is about low resistance and high resistance waveforms on spectral Doppler. These images show spectral Doppler waveforms in different arteries. This waveform on the left is a low resistance waveform. It is of renal artery. Low resistance waveforms will have rounded systolic peaks. This is the systolic peak and it is a blunted peak, a rounded blunted peak. This rounded peak is a feature of low resistance waveform. This is the systolic phase of the cardiac cycle and this flow is the diastolic phase. There is a significant flow during diastole. This significant flow during diastole is another feature of a low resistance waveform. At this point, the diastole ends. This is the end diastole. There is noticeable end diastolic velocity noted. It is not zero or it is not very low. It is approximately 20 centimeters per second. The end diastolic velocity is 20 centimeters per second. This is another feature of a low resistance waveform. There is no flow reversal. There is no flow below the baseline. And it is only a forward flow, a continuous forward flow. So this is another feature of a low resistance waveform. The image on the right is of a high resistance waveform in a common femoral artery. A high resistance waveform will have a sharp systolic peak. You can compare the systolic peak with the low resistance systolic peak and you can see that it is very sharp and also it is narrow. This is a feature of a high resistance waveform and there is reverse diastolic flow during early diastole. The waveform is seen below the baseline. This reversal is another feature of a high resistance waveform. And there is a little bit of forward flow in late diastole. But at end diastole, which is at this point, we see zero flow. The waveform is absent at this point. This absence of flow in end diastole or zero end diastolic velocity is a feature of high resistance waveform. The waveform is triphasic, meaning it has three phases. The first phase is the rapid systolic peak. Then the second phase is a brief reversal of flow. Then the third phase is a small forward flow or plateau in late diastole. So these are three phases. Triphasic flow, which is another feature of high resistance waveform. Blood flow to vital organs such as the kidney or brain will have low resistance blood flow because they are vital organs and they require a significant amount of blood so you can remember that these organs will have low resistance waveforms. This is a waveform in internal carotid artery. As it goes to the brain, it has low resistance waveform. We can see the rounded systolic peak and there is significant forward flow during diastole. There is no flow reversal. There is significant end diastolic velocity of almost 25 centimeters per second. So this is a low resistance waveform. The image on the right shows spectral Doppler waveform of a uterine artery in a non-pregnant uterus. In a non-pregnant uterus, not much blood is required, so the uterine artery usually has a high resistance waveform. It has a sharp peak, 
it is a very sharp peak the systolic peak is also narrow it is narrow and sharp because there is a rapid decrease in blood flow velocity this rapid decrease is due to high resistance there is a short interval of zero flow or very low flow that is the early diastolic notch it is normally seen in uterine arteries in a non-pregnant situation there is no flow reversal but there is a very small amount of forward flow during diastole and there is zero and diastolic flow at this point so all these features are of a high resistance waveform this image on the left is of a uterine artery in the first trimester you can see that the waveform is showing lower resistance as compared to a uterine artery in a non-pregnant uterus the waveform is still overall high resistance but the systolic peak is less sharper than in non-pregnant uterus it is slightly rounded but overall it is still considered a sharp systolic peak the diastolic notch is also present and there is little bit of forward flow and there is a small amount of end diastolic velocity overall it is still a high resistance flow but it is having lower resistance than non-pregnant state in the second trimester there is further lowered resistance because there is an increase in the demand of blood by the uterus the growing fetus and the placenta so you can see a low resistance waveform here the systolic peak is more rounded than in the first trimester and there is significant forward flow during diastole also there is a significant end diastolic velocity it is more than 20 centimeters per second so all these features are of a low resistance waveform in the third trimester the resistance is even more lower than in the second trimester Thank you so much for watching, please subscribe and stay tuned for more imaging videos.